Ever wonder what number determines your financial fate? Have you ever been applying for a loan, a credit card, or even an apartment and gotten hit with that dreaded phrase, credit check? It can feel like your entire financial history is being evaluated and condensed into a single, mysterious number. That number, my friends, is your credit score. Today, we're diving deep into the world of credit scores, specifically those managed by Equifax, one of the three major credit bureaus in the United States. But before we get down to the nitty-gritty, let's take a step back. Why are credit scores even a thing? Think of it like this, you're applying for a loan. The lender, essentially, is giving you money up front, trusting you to pay them back with interest. But how can they be sure you're a good bet? That's where your credit score comes in. It's a snapshot of your credit worthiness, a number that tells lenders how likely you are to repay your debts on time. The higher your score, the more responsible a borrower you appear to be in the eyes of lenders. This translates to better interest rates, easier loan approvals, and even access to better insurance premiums. On the flip side, a low credit score can make it difficult to qualify for loans, or you might end up with sky-high interest rates that can snowball into a big financial burden. Alright, alright, so what's a good Equifax credit score out of 700? We're getting there. Here's the breakdown for Equifax credit scores. 300 to 579, this is considered a poor credit score. It indicates a significant history of missed payments, defaults, or bankruptcies. With a score this low, qualifying for any kind of loan will be extremely challenging, and if you do get approved, expect very high interest rates. 580 to 669, this falls under the fair credit score range. It shows a mixed credit history, with some missed payments or late payments in the past. While qualifying for loans might be easier than with a poor score, you'll likely still face unfavorable interest rates. 670 to 739, now we're entering good credit territory. This range indicates a responsible credit history with a good track record of repaying debts on time. You'll start to see more favorable interest rates and have an easier time qualifying for different types of loans. 740 to 799, this is considered a very good credit score. At this stage, you're seen as a prime borrower by lenders, which translates to the best possible interest rates and loan terms. 800 and above, excellent credit. This score signifies you're a credit superstar. You'll qualify for the absolute best deals on loans, credit cards, and even insurance. But here's the thing, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. These ranges are general guidelines, and lenders use their own criteria to evaluate your credit worthiness. They might consider factors beyond your credit score, like your income, employment history, and even the type of loan you're applying for. So, what can you do to improve your Equifax credit score? There's good news. Here are some actionable steps you can take. Pay your bills on time. This is the golden rule. Consistent on-time payments significantly improve your credit score over time. Keep your credit utilization ratio low. This refers to the amount of credit you're using compared to your total credit limit. Aim to keep it below 30% for a good score. Don't apply for too much credit at once. Every time you apply for a new credit card or loan, it triggers a hard inquiry on your credit report, which can cause a temporary dip in your score. Dispute any errors on your credit report, mistakes happen, and sometimes your credit report might contain inaccurate information. Make sure to review your report regularly and dispute any errors you find. Remember, building a good credit score takes time and effort. But by following these tips and staying financially responsible, you can unlock a world of financial opportunities and secure your financial future. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.